good evening uh, another week about the essence of Islamic religion <clears throat> what Islam really is what this religion what this religion Islam stands for we talked already about it uh, Isis uh, represent the real Islam religion Co very conservative very genuine very fundamental Al-Qaeda represent real Islamic religion. What ISIS did, Muhammad did, and ordered all Muslims to do. We talked about also the holy offensive war. About ISIS, for just one example, Muhammad arrested between six and 900 Jews. Tribe called Bani Quraiza, the name of the tribe. He ordered all men and elders, not just men, to be beheaded immediately, 10 by 10. They took them 10 by 10 and beheaded them. What about the woman and the kids? Did he kill them? No. He divided them among his friends as slaves. And the sex slaves. It is very obvious. Throughout the history, all Muslim successors, invaded the peaceful countries, Syria, Egypt, Lebanon, Palestine, even India, and part of China, by the sword. They occupied even Spain for five, six hundred years. They were about to occupy France, defeated in Charles Martin battle, 732 years after Christ. Then Spain liberated. Be careful. Muslims intention to apply their Islamic law. We talked about Islamic law. We talked about uh, the apostate should be killed. We mentioned all that. And the thief, his hand should be cut. If he stole even an egg. We mentioned all that. From Bukhari, I, I brought you the book. Bukhari the, this book, Bukhari, includes what Muhammad said, what's important of Muhammad saying. They call it Sahih, means sound doctrine, uh, authentic, and the traditional. This is what really Muhammad said. Muhammad said many things, but few books collected and contained exactly what Muhammad said, the authentic saying. That's why they call it Sahih, means rightful, right authentic, genuine, Bukhari, and another book called Sahih Muslim, and other four books. And this, uh, and this is comprised what Islam really is. Islam is not just based on Quran. He based also on tradition. He based also on what Muhammad said, what Muhammad did. About the peaceful, not peaceful at all. Even Muhammad disciples and friends and relatives immediately, two hours after his death, killed one another. They waged brutal war among each other. This is very obvious in all historical books. I depend and rely on Arab textbooks, ancient and contemporary scholars. I rely and I mention something agreed upon, not anything said in any book, no. The, the popular Arab textbooks approved by all Muslims. I depend on these books, I quote from these books, I rely on these books. When I speak about Islam, I rely on Islamic scholars, Muslim scholars, and top Muslim historians, and their books around us, near, I mean, in all mosques. Or all in all library. Today, actually, I am going to speak about uh, the status of women in Islam. How Islam looks at women. Is Islam honor women? Is there is any kind of woman dignity in Islam? <coughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> you will see that now, right now. Absolutely not. De degradation, de 
humanization of women, humiliation of women, degradation, dehumanization. You will be amazed when I, when I tell you point after point how Islam and how Quran and how Muhammad looks at women. Even one Muslim from Jordan just a couple of years ago, he wrote a book called, the name of the book, the title of the book, Woman in Islam Next to Nothing. They threatened him. He escaped for his life. Very, very, very striking, the verse in Quran, in Surah 4, verse 34. If you fear any rebellious of your wife, uh, just fear, just doubt, you have the permission and you are allowed to scourge them, beat them. Quran mentions that. All Quran copy, all Quran printed mentions that. Except the last edition, by Ahmed Ali, printed in uh, Princeton University in New Jersey. When he comes to this word, beat them, he just deleted this word in English. It's the, the book, English and Arabic. Of course, written in Arabic. If you look at the other side, English is not mentioned. Of course, Muslim scholar very mad against him. But he said, I cannot write it in English. The West will be upset. The English-speaking people will be mad. How can I, how can I tell them the Quran say beat woman? <laughs> it is written in Arabic. I cannot delete it in Arabic. But in English, it should be abolished. Be careful. They, said, they told him, no, just write it. And, and, and then uh, in between, write uh, lightly. Some Quran write that. Beat them and then lightly they added this word lightly it is not lightly at all we'll see that now this only the first point about the status of woman the beating of the wife it is not lightly at all how can you know that dr joseph i know that very easy muhammad himself he was sitting among his friends one day and he told them Hang the whip in your house so your wives can see it. Wives, V-E-S, not F-E, because usually they marry more than four. All his friends married four wives. Hang the whip in your house so your wives can see it. What a threatening condition. If you fear any rebellion, beat her with the whip. One of the most popular Muslim women is the sister of one of Muhammad's wife, Aisha. Her name is Asma. Asma bint Abu Bakr, sister of Aisha, whom Muhammad married when she was nine years old. He was 54. He married her, he married her when she was six, but he consummated the marriage after three years. When she became nine, and he was then 54. 45 years difference. It's like his granddaughter, actually. And of course, this is mentioned in Bukhari, mentioned in all books. She herself mentioned that. I will tell you that uh, after a few seconds. But right now, let us focus about what Muhammad told them. Hang the whip. So your wives can see it. Okay. One of Muhammad's wife's sister, Asma, she already said, I was married. I was one of the four wives of his cousin, Muhammad's cousin. His name is Zubair ibn al-Hawam. You don't care about the name. You just need to know his cousin. She was married, his cousin. This cousin, this Muhammad relative, this Muhammad cousin, one of the ten promised by Muhammad to go to paradise. One of the six selected by second Khalif when he was dying to be the third Khalif. He told them, choose one of these six. He was one of the six. Muhammad said he will be my neighbor in paradise. 
he is very highly accepted and approved and they look at him as an example because Muhammad blessed him and they said he is one of the best he will go to paradise he will be my neighbor in paradise was this man dead his name is Zubair Z O B A I R Zubair what he did to one of Muhammad uh, wife sister her name is Asma A S M A she said that she said when he was angry at any one of them we are four he used to hit us by the rock by, by, by the rod rod R O D who rod until broken on us what a lightly beating when he was angry at any one of us he would beat her by hood rod until broken on her the beating of wife is very popular in all Arab countries between woman and man Muslim man of course Christian man is very well known the order the commandment you love your wife like Christ loves the church and died for her but most men know she always afraid of him and she cannot sue him in the court if he show her a lot of violent abuse physical abuse she cannot sue him why because it is written in Quran he will say I am obeying God I fear she gonna be uh, very rebellious she didn't listen to me sometimes a judge will stand beside her if he is a secular <laughs> but if he's a Muslim really genuine Muslim judge he will set him free he will say it's okay it is his right it is written in Quran but some judges they don't care about Quran they are very secular they will apply the law against him but it usually just rebuke him or something what can they do I'm not saying he's allowed to shed her blood no I'm, I'm very honest in my research Quran doesn't allow that the shedding of blood or breaking the bone of, of the wife no you, 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 you are not allowed as a, as a Muslim husband to, 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 to break her bones no or to shed his blood no cause her to bleed not at all but hit her with the whip with the belt whatever you want to do do even 50 time but don't break bones or shed blood this is the only two prohibited action other than that you can beat your wife no problem Muhammad himself was complaining uh, uh, to his father-in-law against two of his wives Aisha and another one called Hafsa. You don't need to mention, to remember the name, just know the fact. He was complaining against two of his wives. He presented this complaint to their fathers. They were sitting in, uh, in, in their house and he told, he, he told them, he told them, your daughters asking me to buy clothes, always annoying me. They defended themselves. They said, actually, we didn't ask him something he doesn't have. He has a lot of money <laughs> from the spoil. When he attacked any tribe, he, he come back with a lot of money. Still, their fathers started to beat them severely and even uh, twist their neck. Their neck were twisted. They screaming from pain. Of course, if you try to bend and, this, and this, uh, twist the neck of anyone, he will scream from pain. What Muhammad did? Did he, did he tell their fathers, no, no, there is no need for that, just rebuke her, rebuke them. No, he didn't say that. He was shown laughing. He was seen laughing. Laughing. This scene cannot, you cannot laugh on this scene. 
if your wife be twi naked, neck twisted and beaten from her dad, you cannot be seen laughing. He was laughing. This is two favorite wife. Beating of wives is allowed in Islam. Another point about woman. Yeah, about this Aisha, six years old, she herself telling us what happened that day. The wedding day, marriage day. <laughs> she said she was six years old. He was 51. He didn't consummate the marriage that day, no. He waited three more years, three years later. Yes, but they, they wrote the contract at this time. When she was six. Because in Islam, the wife has no wish. Her will is not respected. Her choice is not respected. When her dad ordered her to marry any man who took dowry from him, usually all the men or they pay a lot of money. She cannot protest, she cannot object, she cannot say no. We'll see that now. All Muslim scholars say that. The father has the right to let his daughter, virgin daughter, marry any man without consulting, without being without asking her consent. It's true. If it is if she is divorced, no, he cannot do that. It is her will. But if she is still virgin, even if she is old, if she is still virgin, she has no right to choose her husband. He will force her to marry anyone. If she divorced, no, he cannot force her anymore. She has the right to choose. Okay. But Aisha, of course, she was six years old. She uh, telling us her story, her emotional story, moving story. She said, I was playing in a swing. They, they called me, come, come, Aisha, come right away in the house, to the house. Her mom called her. She said, I came while uh, gasping. <laughs> palpitation, heart palpitation, gasping. <laughs> what happened? You're going to marry now. Come right away. She's playing in her swing with her doll. She came. She said that. My mom combed my hair, washed my face, put me, put dress on me and, told, and uh, carried me. She was six years. And she, she would give me to a man. They call him the prophet of God. She put me in, in, his, in, in his bed, telling him, may God bless you and your, to your, and your wife. He didn't consummate the marriage, but this was the way the marriage contract. She said, I took my doll with me and I went to his house after three years. During these three years, uh, all professors mentioned, professor in Islamic University, even Saudi Arabia, used to do some sexual act with her and kiss her and teach her things while she's still six, until nine, every day. When she was nine, he took her to his house and consummated the marriage. So I mentioned already the other point, the virgin or the young woman has no right to choose her husband. Where is that written? All Muslim scholars, without one exception. Ibn Taymiyyah, they have great volumes. Ibn Hazm, the professor of the law, they mention that clearly. Ibn Hazm in his books, volume, the, the sweetest. What kind of sweet? His volume named The Sweetest, Ibn Hazm. He mentions that clearly, clearly. One of his volume, volume nine. Six, volume number six, part nine of his book, Al Muhalla, means The Sweetest. Volume number six, part nine. He mentions that. And another one, they call him the leader of all Muslims. His name is Ibn Taymiyyah. 
So Ibn Hazm, the, the leader of the law, the, the, the professor of law in Islamic law, he said that, along with Ibn Taymiyyah. This is what's happening every day, my friend. In Yemen, young woman, young girl, married. Is this allowed in Islam or just tradition? In Islam, tradition of Muhammad is accepted as Quran. But even Quran mentions that in Surah Divorce, verse 3, he said even she didn't start uh, the cycle, ministerial cycle. And the explanation of this verse, all Muslim scholars say she could be three years only, three or four. But actually, they go according to the tradition, so they don't give her to her husband until she is nine, usually. But she, they can write the contract when she was three, two, six, as Muhammad did, as Abu Bakr did to his daughter Aisha when he married her to Muhammad. Okay. What else is very important in Islam? Actually, which is very important about women in Islam, that Muhammad considered, and he said that clearly many times with all Muslim scholars, that he said what? He said that woman is a slave to her husband. Anyone can redeem her by money. Slave to her husband. Of course, there is some kind of marriage, maybe I told you last week, it's called the marriage for pleasure. Muhammad allowed that in the beginning of Islam. Some people said it's prohibited. Other people said, no, it's still going on, not prohibited. Because it was uh, done, I mean, it was occurring, it did occur even after Muhammad first successor, and the part of second successor, then prohibited. But why the first successor did the same? What is this kind of marriage? It's called temporary marriage. Agree, any man can agree with any woman, unmarried woman, of course, to be with her two or three days, two or three nights, and give her money. Muhammad said you can even give her dress or any kind of dates, <laughs> fruits. His disciples said that. We were in, in war with him. He allowed us to do this kind of marriage. Two nights only, by money. Prostitution. Nothing but prostitution. But they call it marriage for pleasure. Even the New York Times mentioned that. The New York Times in the year 2000, October 4, Year 2000, mentioned same in page A, number three, A3. The New York Times mentioned that. And this, under the title, Love Finds a Way in Iran, Temporary Marriage. Go to the New York Times, the year 2000, October 4th, and go to page number four, 4th of October. It's very well known in Iran. And the Iraq, because Shia, I told you, Muslims divided into Sunnah and Shia. And of course, I told you that Muslims can be Arab or non-Arab. Actually, non-Arabs is like 20% or more of Muslims. I mean, 80% or more non-Arabs, Indonesia, Pakistan, Muslims in India, Afghanistan, Iran, all this is, that doesn't speak Arabic. They don't speak Arabic. They don't speak Arabic. They speak their own language. Yet, Islam says, prayer should be recited only in Arabic. <laughs> Amazing. Prayer should be recited only in Arabic, or it would be invalid. Okay, temporary contractual marriage. What an insult to women to treat her like a prostitute without any rights, this marriage, carry no rights or inheritance or anything. Just three days was money. Muhammad ordered that. Some people said, and then Muhammad prohibited. 
But why it was going on after Muhammad? Abu Bakr, first Khalif, first successor, and part of second successor. It's well known. Okay. So woman considered a slave to her husband. Muhammad said that clearly. Mentioned in many books like Bukhari. Bukhari also mentioned actually something very important. He mentioned that woman, Muhammad said, woman is bad omen. Amazing. Most of the people going to hell are women. Amazing. Woman has deficiency in their religion and their mind. Amazing. What an insult to say that about women, that most of people going to hell are women, and I have never left bad things to you more than women. Bad omen, carrying bad luck. I tell you more, I tell you more. Muhammad said, actually, that women <laughs> equal in practice to dog and dunk. Oh, Muhammad said that. Even his wife, after his death, told his friends, are you making us, a woman, equal to dog and donkey? He said, not us. We didn't do that. Muhammad said, if anyone praying and dog or donkey or woman passed in front of him, his prayer not valid anymore, nullified, invalid. He should start over again, wash himself again, and start the prayer again. If dog or donkey or woman passed in front of the prayer man, prayer for man, he should start the prayer all over again. Why? Because prayer now is invalid, nullified. It's not good. It's illegal now, already done. You have to repeat it. Why? Because woman passed in front of him, or dog or donkey. His wife told his friends, are you making us equal to dog and donkey? This is the status of woman, my friends. You can beat your wife, marry up to four, with many sex slave women, unlimited number, uh, temporary marriage. Woman is a slave. Most of the people going fire are women. Women are bad omen. I have never left the bad things after me to the man more than woman. You can beat your wife. <laughs> I think that's, that's more than enough about the status of women in Islam. Next week, we are going to speak about slavery in Islam. I have a lot to say about that. Did I forget something? I don't think so. And this is written in Bukhari, volume 7. The book of Bukhari and the Muslim and the all Muslim scholars mention that. But this is a very authentic book. Bukhari, volume 7, he mentioned all that. Temporary marriage, woman uh, deficiency has deficiency in their mind, in their intelligence, in their religion, should be beaten, and women uh, also, more people going to hellfire are women, and all that. What a comparison between Christianity, heavenly religion, and Islam, really, really, religion is the devil, who insulted women so much. May God bless you, and see you next week.